Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how to reduce fine lines and wrinkles using a gashwa tool. I'm then going to finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage massage release so we can release the toxins in the waste from this area into the rest of the body. So first things first, you want clean skin. So as you can see, I have no product on my skin whatsoever. So clean skin, clean fingers. I'm using a form of slip as in some rosehip oil here today. But if you have your own face cream, that's fine too. Personally, I do find with an oil, you get a better sort of slip and glide. You really don't want to compromise the skin by dragging and pulling and creating then more lines and wrinkles. So we just take just a couple of drops of our oil first and then just massage it into the fingers and then just place it onto our forehead, on our temples, the side of the ears and the side of the neck. Now my gashwa tool today I'm using is a jade gashwa tool which I absolutely love and I've gone for a slightly larger one today because we then have more sort of area, surface area to glide along. So first things first, I'm going to use this part and I'm going to place my finger as an anchor literally on the bridge of my nose and I'm just gently moving, fairly flat actually, in an upwards motion all the way the long, along from literally the third eye to the hairline and then just give it a little wiggle when we get to the top. And we're just gently, carefully just moving along A mindful practice and we just want to keep going all the way along here again eyebrow you can actually place and hold as an anchor we really don't want to create any more fine lines and wrinkles and we're basically working a in the opposite way to any of those lines let me just finish off just this part here and then we'll go to the other side so again holding on bridge of the nose and just working our way up now you can do these gashwa exercises on the forehead once or twice a day. Obviously it depends how much time you have. And just placing, we don't want to create any more fine lines and wrinkles anywhere else. And if you like, you can take a couple of deep belly breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. And by doing this in a light motion, we're actually moving lymph, which has all the toxins and the waste. And by doing that, we're actually helping eliminate some of those fine lines and wrinkles there. So now I'm placing my um, gashwa again on the middle, just slightly further in from the middle. Again, holding the other hand as an anchor and we're just gently gliding very mindfully all the way to the temples. And again, just a slight wiggle. Now, again, when you have your gashwa tool, you always want to make sure that it's clean. Obviously, every time you use it, I tend to rinse it in some just slight soapy water and then a final rinse. And I do leave it on my um, bedroom shelf, window sill, if you like, as I just think, you know, the sun's going to hopefully recharge it, if you like, without sounding too woo-woo. Um, and if there's a full moon, it can recharge. Um, so it's always a good place for it to sort of sit and be. And then we go to the other side. And when you are buying a gashwa tool, you want to be very mindful and careful where you're buying it from. Some may say gashwa um, jade or rose quartz. It can actually be a fake and be actually plastic. So you wouldn't get such um, a good effect. And then again, just gently gliding all the way along. And one last time. So now we're going to actually next have a look at a little bit of fascia, which um, you know can be quite constricted, and you can actually almost feel it if you start feeling along. And you may feel a bit where the lines are and just above, and it kind of almost goes in and just almost like a spider's web, and it starts to really entwine. And we want to kind of release it. So with our gashwa tool, if you can feel a sort of point, you can actually just massage it and you want to go in lots of directions so just massage all the way along 
and they would go all the way along the line. Now I've never had any Botox or fillers or anything like that on my face. If anything it kind of scares me and I'd much rather um, do things naturally. But if you do have Botox or if you do have fillers in your forehead, perhaps it's a good idea to actually see your doctor first to make sure that you can actually do these exercises so you're not actually breaking down anything or moving things around. So again, we're just, again, just massaging, breaking down any sort of adhesions, if you like, and particularly between the, almost the third eye, those frown lines. And again, lots of different directions. It's a really nice massage. And again, I'm holding as a slight anchor, very gently on with my fingers. And then we go to the other side. So again, placing, and then if you can just feel any lines, or if not, you can just keep going around all along the forehead area here. And again, up. And just keep working all the way along. Lots of different directions. And then we're getting, again, placing this very large, the long part, which just kind of goes in. And again, placing and just gently massaging and gliding all the way along from just across, just over the middle, all the way along to the temples. Now this is, again, we're actually moving toxins and waste within this area, within the lymph. And then on the other side. And then we're going to then take our fingers, we're going to massage our temples and then just glide down the side of the ears, the side, bottom of the ears and the side of the neck very lightly down to the collarbone and then just slightly down. Now we're going to now just take our fingers and then where the hairline is here we're just gently gliding and then down to the ears and then we're going to take the fingers and we're just gently going to massage in a round circular motion just behind the ears down to the bottom of the ear and then back up again and then down and then just work your way along the nape of the neck and if you get any little tender points which you can get sometimes with neck strain as well just give that a little extra massage and then when the fingers are touching at the nape of the neck, the occipital bone, if you like, we just want to gently glide literally down these very large muscles either side of the neck and just very lightly glide down the side, down to the collarbone. And then from our chin all the way down either side, we have a couple of points here, indentations, if you like, and you just want to give those a few gentle presses. This, was, this will actually release the toxins and the waste we've used using the Garshwa tool on the forehead all the way down, re ready for elimination, basically, in the rest, of the rest of the body. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help with the algorithm. And for more hints and tips, please subscribe. And I will put actually a playlist on here on more lymphatic drainage if you'd like to take a look at that. And I look forward to seeing you there. Okay, bye.